yes 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 what's up guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make afro soul type beats um i'm sure you're wondering why i have this guy put up on my screen i'm going to explain so first things first like i said if you want to try to make a beat uh, with a particular style in mind it's always good to check out the chords that they use to play the song the artist i'm talking about here is libyanka if you guys don't know libyanka she is the person i sang people that i've been drinking more like a whole song so i checked out the chords on this site and i'm like oh, these chords look kind of weird like it says the key is in a flat major right but we have the chord progression starts with a g flat i'm like g flat in a major in a flat major scale like if i pull up my scale sheet right let me show you guys so you guys if you guys are still lost, if you pull up my scale sheet, we don't have a G flat in the chords, in the notes. There's no G flat in the notes. And I'm like, how is that even possible? You know, so um that's the thing too, it's music music theory. Music theory can get complicated. Sometimes you start off learning very simple basic pop chord progressions like the six five four. You only learn major scales, you only know minor scales, you only know the notes play only notes in the scale and the more advanced you get with music theory the more you realize that you can actually play notes that are outside a scale that you that you picked initially even though you're in the in the key of a flat major as you guys can see you are playing a g flat note that's not even in the scale so that made me realize that yes music theory can get very complicated so sometimes too you don't just use chords just because that's only the chords you have in the scale you can use chords just because it makes you feel some type of way so guys, learn um more music theory. Music theory can get very boring and very complicated. Even me myself, I've, I've not learned music theory that much, you know. But that's beside the point of the video. The, that 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 was just to tell you that if you use this website, you know, you might see chords that you know is not in the scale. So I did my own research and I was like, let me even check out people playing this um chord progression and boom, they are playing exactly the same thing, you know, that is on here. So keep that in mind, guys. But that's by the way. So. I'm going to basically use the chords that they use in that song to make these beats. So I started off with a chord progression, very simple, not simple, <laughs> but very simple sound. And I just picked uh, a piano sound from Addictive Keys, sounds like this. So I just transposed the notes up an octave, the middle notes up an octave. So it initially sounds like this. I took it up an octave because I just wanted to sound a bit different. It's the same chord, it's the same key, you know. And the next thing, the drums. Drums for this kind of beats are very, very, very simple. Like, you can do these drums in your sleep, guys. You can do it in your sleep. Sounds like this. Very busy cream shots. Just find a busy cream shots. Then once you get that rim shells, you can layer it with small percussion and other stuff. So I I added this rim shot as supports. Then I added some perks here and there. The whole thing. Very, very simple. Then the next thing, the kick. Very simple kick, like <laughs> there's nothing here. So it is Afro Soul. Very Afro Soul is always very soulful. It has like a sad feeling to it. You know, you can still play your pentatonic scale to get the melodies, but there's a trick to it. You would um you might even include you might include the the fourth notes, but don't include the seventh, you know. But you just find the, find some melodies that have this sad vibe to it. So I found this melody from um expand this marimba sound they like using marimbas vibraphones bells you know pads all those sounds that make you feel sad so i was just messing around my keyboard and i found that melody i didn't even quantize it then i added this flute melody again from expand You want to stick around making sad vibes, sad melodies, 
because it's Afro Soul. Afro Soul is gonna make you feel sad. And I saw this loop for market. Just add some more texture and characters to the beat. Mm-hmm. That was basically it. Then some more percussion here and there. It's just like layer percussion for like a different layer. So if I'm making my beat sometimes and it's feeling some um, kind of empty, I might get to a part where I just want to add more stuff so that it feels more, um, you know, full or there's more energy to it. And that was basically it. Then I added some shikas. You know, this, this is a very quick video, guys. Just to add some more groove. And if someone like Libyanka was to jump on this or Omale, it would be very, very nice because they will add all their soulful melodies. And I didn't want to bass line yet. But this whole bit. The drum roll. So basically the beat is not done yet. You know, vocals still need to come in to fill up the places. But then again, so I can still add some elements to make it sound full. I can add the bass line, I can add some pads, just so there's more, you know, body and quality to it. Let's see if you can add the pad real quick. So I'll use expand. I'll copy the chords again and just paste it there. Control C. Go to new pattern, pattern eight, and control V here. You can add harmonies. You can add harmonies here and there to the. And you can add guitars to here and take guitar melodies um, to make everything make sense. Let me see if we can add the bass line. Beauty, bass guitar. I'm trying to find a good guitar, a good bass guitar preset. Okay, let's use this one. This one sounds good enough. So, very simple baseline. You can make it more complicated, but let's just fill up the place that feels empty. Just so you guys can have a feeling. I'll play from the top. Like these beats are very, very simple beats, you know, but they make it complicated with the kind of chords you're playing and the arrangements. The arrangement is the key thing with this type of beats. Then you also add a lot of reverb here and there.
Can you take out this melody? Just build the progression. Very simple bit, guys. View the progression here and there and make it make more sense. Catch you guys on the next one. I'm dropping videos for you guys back to back to back to back. I hope you guys are actually learning from all these videos I'm making, you know. You guys don't just watch and go away. Watch the videos, go practice, you know, try it out. If you find something that you can add to your style of making beats, try it out. I mean, me, I've personally been deep diving into listening to more beats and trying to understand how the beats are made. Thanks to this website again. Um... This website that, that I showed you guys in my previous video, codify.net. This website is a game changer, guys. Like it's helped me a lot. And I've used it to learn more chords for songs that I never even thought that I could ever play. So yeah, catch you guys on the next one.